Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create Office 2019 volume package using SCCM or Configuration Manager. So let's get started. The current branch of Office, or I'm sorry, current branch of my Configuration Manager, it is 1806. So so in order to create and download Office 2019 volume license, um, I'm going to show you exactly step by step here. Here's my network share. I'm going to create a folder called Office 2019 volume. I'm going to copy the link of uh, the uh, UNC and in SCCM console you want to go to software library and you want to go into office 365 client management click on that and on the right windows you see a bunch of information here um, regarding uh, client management there's Office 365 client in my in my lab environment. I have three machines, so I'm going to click on Office 365 installer. I'm going to call this Office 2019 volume license. I'm going to paste the link. I mean the um, my network path. I'm going to click next. You want to create a customization um, installation. So let's go on, go to Office customization tools. <clears throat> so you can choose either 32 bit or 64. In this case, I'm going to choose 32 bit. Office Suite, you want to make sure you choose. Office Professional Plus 2019 volume license. If you have standard, you can choose the standard. So I'm going to choose Professional Plus 2019. If I want to include Visio, I can select Visio here. Um, so I have Visio Online, Visio Standard 2016. In this case, I'm going to choose Visio Professional 2019. projects I'm going to select project professional 2019 as well additional products if I want to install like language pack office 365 runtime I can choose that as additional products update channel there's only one perpetual enterprise which version do you want so the very top one you can choose it's default to the top one so you can choose um so the the top one is the newest so you can choose which version you want to install i'm going to choose the the latest one under turn under apps turn apps on or off to include or exclude from being deployed so if you want to include one node you want to enable this and OneDrive is this group you want to turn that off you don't want to install or you can exclude publisher word or whatever so next is the language I'm going to choose English United States you can choose additional language if you want if you support multiple countries you want to do that here Next is the installation. You want to pin icon to the test bar. Turn this on. You want to enable logging. You can enable logging here by putting the path. I'm going to turn that off. Just for testing, so I'm going to turn it off. Update and upgrade. You want to uninstall any of MSI. You can enable that here. 
it's on and you want to move Visio, remove projects, remove SharePoint designer, remove info path, there's options available. I'm going to turn it on, click next, license and activation. If you have KMS key, you can leave it as KMS or if you have mark key, you, know, you can enter, the, choose this option and then enter the key number. At this time, I'm going to choose KMS and then click next provide organizations I'm going to call it you can provide your organization name just call it Carson Cloud and description provide um, description of the configuration click next the last step is the application preference. So there's options for Office. There's option for Access. You can configure it or not configure it. So these are options available for you to, to make changes. So in this case, I'm not going to make any changes to the configuration of the applications. I'm going to click Finish. And then I'm going to click review. If I'm happy with the current configurations, I want to click submit. And the next step is you're going to click next. Do you want to deploy the application now? I'm going to say no. And click next. So this process will take about 15 minutes to download. Let's take a look at the path. As you can see, it's already downloaded. Let's see how much data has it been downloaded. Here's the config file. If you want to make changes to the config file, all you have to do is just add it and make and modify it. For example, Right now, share computer licensing is off, and if you want to enable that, click change it to one. Pin icon to taskbar, it is true, and if you don't want it anymore, you just change it to false. I'm going to let it finish. I'm going to pause the recording, and we'll come back. All right, look like the download has been completed. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to click close. Let's check the um, the file size or the fo files folder size. It's 1.6 gig. So if you go to application management, <coughs> here's the package. I'm going to distribute it to the DP. Distribute contents. Click next. Distribution point. Oops. Next. That's it. So that's how you create a um, Office 2019 volume license using Configuration Manager. It's very easy and simple. It's, it's good to the property of the package. You can make changes here if you want. You can change the name, you can change the publisher. Versions 2019. application catalog you can change the icon if you want to reference distribution setting deployment type you can make these changes here if you want change the name change the content programs command line you can add the uninstall detection method you can make the changes here. 
it's already configured for you. You don't have to um, go in and manually create one for yourself. All you have to do is just using the SCCM to create the package. User experience. Requirements. Return code. Dependency. If you want to add a dependency, you can add that here. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And have a great day.